a statistic for you. Cigarette smoking, tobacco smoking, kills eight times more Americans in one year than the Vietnam War did in 10. The number one cause of preventable death is cigarette smoking. Most people know this. Most smokers know that. A lot of smokers want to quit. We're going to talk about how you can quit using megavitamins. So this is not another preachy presentation. This is a practical presentation, so stay tuned. What do you do about smoking? What do you do about something that is so hard to quit and so dangerous if you don't quit? There's a wonderful article in Drug and Alcohol Dependence in 1993, 21 years ago. This is a peer-reviewed journal. And in this 1993 issue of Drug and Alcohol Dependence, it talked about spraying vitamin C in the back of the mouth to help stop smoking. Smokers took a little aerosol of vitamin C solution, and every time they wanted a cigarette, they sprayed this in the back of their mouth. Their craving for cigarettes went down. All of them smoked less, and many of them stopped smoking entirely. Because instead of having a cigarette, they had a blast of vitamin C. Not only did this technique enable a lot of people to quit smoking, and many others to cut down, but there was no weight gain in smokers that use this technique. Now that's really something because many people report when they stop smoking, they start eating. Well, eating cravings and smoking cravings are both cravings. And smoking is the more dangerous of the two, but overeating is not exactly safe. So vitamin C apparently provides some kind of still largely unknown benefit to stop people from craving things that are bad for them. Drug and alcohol dependence, 1993. Spray vitamin C in the back of your mouth. Now, everybody's asking, where can I buy aerosol vitamin C spray? And the answer is, I don't know. I've actually never seen it, but you can make your own. You just get a spray bottle at your local dollar store. You can get a little spray bottle, or maybe you can save one from uh, something else that comes in a spray bottle. Clean it out real well. Take this spray bottle. Put some vitamin C crystals in it, add a little bit of water, dissolve it, and off you go. If you use ascorbic acid, you want to keep it off your teeth. So you want to get it all the way back. If it's going to touch your teeth, if your sprayer doesn't quite go back that far, you can use calcium ascorbate. Vitamin C sprayed in the back of the mouth. You can make your own. You have to replenish that vitamin C every day because some of the effectiveness is lost when vitamin C is dissolved in water. Well, maybe you don't even want to do this. Could you use chewable vitamin C's like kids have? Sure you can. That'll get vitamin C in the back of your throat. Can you use oral doses of vitamin C? Can you just take more vitamin C, get to saturation like Dr. Pauling and Dr. Cathcart and uh, me would tell you to do? Try it and see. Try C and see if you stop smoking, you see. This is something that's good to know. What if people had known about this sooner? When actor and heavy smoker Yul Brenner was dying of lung cancer, he was asked on television if he had any words about smoking. Now that I'm gone, I tell you, don't smoke. Whatever you do, just don't smoke. Advice like that can save over 400,000 lives per year just in the United States. In the United States, tobacco kills 51 people an hour. That's 1,200 dead smokers' funerals every day. This is something we need to do. This is important. This is something you can do. And you can get someone that you love to stop smoking as well. If I could take back that smoking, we wouldn't be talking about any cancer. I'm convinced of that.